Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our Bryant furnace and we're going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your limit switch. It's a very important part. Let's get started. Up at the thermostat now and it is now off. All right, YouTubers downstairs in the furnace room and we've got an additional power source. Flip that switch to the off position, cut any additional electrical power going into your furnace. And we have to remove this cover plate here. In our case, it is just a little knob here that unscrews the cover plate from the furnace. And be careful as you maneuver this away from the furnace. You don't want to harm anything. And here is your inner workings of your furnace. And we are going to replace that little switch back there. This is called your limit switch. At this point, I've got a flashlight conveniently located and you've got two electrical wires that feed into your limit switch. And in our case, they're slightly different. As you can see, this has a cover on it and that is feeding into the top connection point. And then you've got an additional one without it. What we want to do is carefully Pull the electrical connection points off of the switch. And what I need to do now is remove both of those quarter inch screws. Once you get both of those screws removed, that limit switch just falls out. And I wanna make sure I insert the new one the exact same way as the old one. So on the right hand side, if you really look at it, is a brand. And on the left hand side is your patent number. So let's go get the new part. All right, here's the new part. And yours may be different. Again, limit switch, there's a part number. We purchased ours from repairclinic.com. Let's go ahead and open it. After pulling the new limit switch out of its package, go ahead and align it properly. Make sure your screw holes line up and that is perfect as you can see. And again, you want the patent number in our case on the left hand side. You'll notice a difference in the welding of the connection leads. The bottom have gold or bronze colored and the top just have silver or aluminum colored. Now secure the screws. Be very careful as you tighten those screws. It is just grabbing a hold of a very thin layer of aluminum. You do not want to strip that because if you do, that's bad news. It'll be tough to secure this. From here, what I want to do is I want to connect the electrical connection points the same way I took them off. And I'll do the bottom first. And I'll do the top second. Next, carefully remove the flashlight in the event that you used one. From here what I'm going to do is go back upstairs to the wall mounted thermostat and I'm going to turn the thermostat to heat. I'm going to leave this electrical switch in the off position. I'll show you why when I get back downstairs. All right, YouTubers, I'm back downstairs now, and a few things are going to happen when I turn this switch to the on position. Your fan blade will begin to spin at a very high pace, and your fan motor or blower motor will go into its 90 second test. And if ventilation is properly detected, your igniter will get power and turn on. And inside here is your burner tubes. Way back in there is your actual tab that is your igniter. So here it comes. You can hear the power. And there's your 90 second test of your blower. And you just patiently wait because it, it may not take 90 seconds. It may take 20 seconds. However, it's extremely important that your system has proper ventilation to properly run. And once it detects it has proper ventilation, Everything will turn on. And the fan blade is now running. Let's go down below. And you are going to see your igniter light up. There it is. From here, your tubes will ignite. Check that out. And at that point, everything is up and running back to its normal state. 
Hopefully this helps YouTubers. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching, and what I'll do next is re-secure the cover plate.